Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about today is what people are seeing and experiencing in everyday life when it comes to being of the prepared mind. <clears throat> And I get sent pictures and emails and videos. And if you would like to do so, my email's in the description box below. So this first email comes in with a lot of pictures and a lot of encouragement. She said, I've been really busy getting meats out of the freezer, corned beef brisket, chicken breast, beef, uh, peppered turkey breast, and ham bones for bone broth. Myers lens are popping up on my dwarf tree oh the lemons yes i'm so excited y'all say positive you are worthy and loved oh my goodness thank you so much yeah you're so awesome i love this community member so much she is she really truly is an inspiration for all of us look at these beautiful beautiful pictures So here's an email from a community member along with some pictures. She said, as I was sending information to you about the FedNow being live using my Gmail, <laughs> that video is coming out after this video. <laughs> she said, after I clicked on the PDF link, but did not download the link for the PDF or anything like that, I tried to send you the email so I can copy and paste the information in Gmail told me it looked like I forgot to send it the attachment here are the photos I did not tell my email I was going to send you a link or anything like that very weird now or gmail but it's really creepy actually seeing them watching you whoever they are Ugh. my husband says they want everybody to talk about the fed now and see who is against it possibly but it's creepy knowing that they knew and assumed I was sending you an attachment to the PDF. Sorry it looks weird, but it's pictures from my with my cell phone. The second photo is just showing you that I wasn't trying to attach anything to you. Oh my goodness gracious me. Ew, it's like they can... Ew, are they creeping into... Ew. Oh my God. All right, so here's the pictures that she sent and the video that she's talking about that I'm going to be, that I'm doing is coming out after this video. So here's an email from a community member with some pictures. She said, experience has taught me to have shelf stable meals in a bag. Yes, me too. She said on hand in the pantry. In this case, I'm talking about family emergencies. Too much month and not enough paycheck. Oh my God, yes. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. And it's just like, what are we going to do now? <laughs> Believe me, I get it. She said, or even having something to offer a friend in need without breaking the bank. These aren't bug out meals and they are probably not the cheapest options in this case the point is being prepared and having something to offer everyone during a tough time or during an emergency situation i tend to follow the examples i see on youtube prepper channels because preppers know how to do things independently even during the toughest of times yes you're right um that's why like i did that one video um about you know making my own MREs and things like that because I wanted to show you that we don't have to spend a lot of money on actual MREs that we can make our own for pennies on the dollar you know what I mean um, she said I picked chili this time because it's a good basic chili recipe can uh, can feed uh, a table full of people I use Bear Creek I love Bear Creek uh, at as the base because it stores well and has a nice taste. I was only able to prepare three bags because I had $40 to spend. And the whole idea was to stay within my budget. Later on, when I have a little more money, I will buy three cans of beef on Amazon and additional items for sides from Dollar Tree. Canned mixed veggies, packet of biscuit mix, 
cornbread or rice and some canned fruit. My goal with each bag is to prep a nutritional filling and easy to prepare meal for eight people for $20 or less. That, you know, my go-to, okay, my go-to meal for my eight in my home is Chili Mac. Um, it's one of the cheapest, most delicious, I think, uh, meals that you can make. Elbow macaroni, uh, a few cans of chili, um, and just some shredded cheddar. Voila. And then if you want to add some ground beef in there, you can. But generally the chili that I buy already has the beef and the beans in there. So I don't need to add anything else. But Chili Mac is literally, you can buy, you know, and even if you do buy $20 worth of elbow macaroni, uh, chili with beans and meat and uh, ch shredded cheddar, you're going to be feeding a hell of a lot more than eight people. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that is my go-to for my eight in my house. You know what I'm saying? Um... She said, in my case, I was not able to do all this at once, but that's the point to prepare these meals while following a set budget and when there's enough money to set aside to do this. I absolutely agree with you 100%. Absolutely agree. Um, I, what I'm going to do is I will try and figure out um, the best meals to do uh, for like under 20 or even maybe under 10 to feed like a family of four, family of six, family of eight, because a lot of us have big families. You know, a lot of us are not just, you know, me and my significant other. We've got kids, we've got grandkids, or we're raising our nieces and nephews, you know what I mean? So I will make a list and I'll try and, you know, make more MREs for a family of four, um, you know, that's under 20 okay or family of six or a family of eight that's under 20 okay so if you guys want that just let me know okay if you guys have any ideas that you just want to throw at me just email me okay and i'll just do a huge video on it and we'll just get it done okay or if you want do it yourself and send me the pictures okay and i'll just make a whole montage of it okay because i think that would actually give more encouragement and more ideas for a lot more people. All right. So she said, this is just one example and I'm sure there are many uh, better options and I'd love to see what other people are doing. See, there you go. Uh, she said, my next meal bag will be based on Bear Creek uh, stroganoff. My favorite uh, Bear Creek is the, um, uh, the broccoli and cheddar soup. She said, um, I'm not a real fan of soup, but there are many soup based options that also feed a hungry family in a pinch and probably, uh, for much less. What I love to do with the, uh, the cheddar broccoli soup is to add rice and more, uh, more veg and then sprinkle, um, you know, like, uh, uh, shredded cheddar on there and then make uh, like a, a rice casserole out of it. Voila, when I tell you, delish. Yes, five star, <laughs> five Michelin star. <laughs> she said, um, God bless you, Autumn. I love you and how you, how you help us. Well, I love you too. You have been with me pretty much since the very, very beginning. And I appreciate you in so many ways. You have no idea. She said, you are a daily inspiration. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. All of you guys inspire me. And I'm so glad to hear that I inspire you because you guys are sincerely inspire me. You really do. So here's the pictures that she sent in. So here's an email from a community member along with a picture. She said, I've been canning those boxes of chicken. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> She said the ones that total 100 plus pounds got 27 quarts so far. <laughs> Doing a couple more canner loads today. These chickens were pretty big. The 50 pound plus uh, boxes held 10 whole chickens each. Oh my God. I did not debone these boxes like I did the 40 pound box of leg quarters a week ago. So I could only get two breasts and two, one to two wings without the tips into the quart jars. Did jars with four thighs. 
and also a few jars of just legs. That way I can select what I need depending on what I'm cooking. Meat for my prepper shelves. Keep prepping. Yes, girl. Wow, this is awesome. So here's an email from a community member and a picture. She said, "I, this was out front of the DMV. No joke. I took my daughter there for her ID and I saw this. Couldn't I, I couldn't help but send it to you. Hope you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so this comes from a community member in california she said here is how they steal from people in california they invent more taxes and never put it where it's earmarked for isn't that always the way <laughs> she said here here they are okay so the first one is mileage tax politicians are already imposing six cents per mile tax costing an average of nine hundred dollars per car per year holy cow man so the next one is health care tax politicians propose a double to double california state's tax to fund government run health care costing average of sixteen thousand per household per year the next one is an exit tax. Politicians want a new tax for up to 10 years on residents who move out of California. Once you move out, you move out. That's it. You get tax me for 10 years after that, Jack. The next one is a savings tax. Politicians want a new tax on your personal savings and investments. Uh, no. The next one is a gas tax. The law passed last week imposing a new tax on oil companies would be invalidated. The next one is utilities tax. A crazy proposal to charge you higher utility rates if you earn too much. Yes, I've talked about this before. Um, will be blocked. In addition, the $4.5 billion in hidden state taxes on utility bill bills have to be voted on or eliminated. The next one is local tax hikes. Any local sales or property tax hike adopted after January 2022 would be invalidated or for not complying with the provisions of the CTPI. <sighs> Jax. And here's, here's a funny from a community member. She said, record high temps give new meaning to Taco Tuesday. <laughs> really? <laughs> And here's a picture that was sent in by a community member and it's of Campbell's chicken soup, right? Have you ever actually read the ingredients on anything that you buy that's food? Okay, well, this is what it contains in the ingredients. It contains bioengineered food ingredients. The ingredients from corn and soy in this product come from genetically modified crops. Blah. No joke. All right, guys, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one, okay? You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping. And as always, fearless. Ciao.